Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We continue with our lectures. This is the second last. Okay, insyaAllah. So, BMM 3562 element for chapter 4. Okay, remember uh, in our previous uh, lecture, uh, the relationship between uh, displacement or local axis, coordinate axis, and the displacement for uh, global coordinate axis. Okay, the 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 relationship between the two. Okay, the two displacement. Okay, it is uh, using the transformation metric. Okay, the transformation, the local. You we we want to know the local displacement. So you use the transformation transformation matrix times the displacement from from uh, based on the global axis. Okay, and okay, this is for. Uh, for uh, complete four times four uh, matrix, okay. For not one, this is this one, and for not two, and this one, this is uh, this is a displacement in the global current axis, okay. Okay, let's see uh, in the picture for one bar, for one bar, one bar. With the angle, okay. So displacement for a global in this direction. So this is for not one displacement for a global uh, using global coordinate axis, and this is force the local force. Force belong to not one, okay. This is displacement belong to not one in the direction of global coordinate axis. In this case, x, okay. What for the local local current axis? Local current axis, the displacement is in the direction of the bar. Okay, so the displacement there is a symbol of copia or cap. So the direction is in the direct in the direction of x axis of local local current system. Okay, similar to the local force, the force at node one. Uh, for uh, local coordinate axis is in the direction of uh, uh, x local coordinate axis. Force in the global coordinate axis is this one. Okay, without the cap. Similar to the rest, okay. okay similar to that. This one is for uh, global global y axis. This one in this direction is a local coordinate axis. In the direction of local as the displacement and the, the force for element one <coughs> similar to not two this is global displacement global uh, based on global coordinate axis okay the displacement in the direction of uh, global x axis okay this is direction of the uh, y based on global coordinate axis okay and the rest are the same this is in the local current axis, displacement and force in the local current axis. This is displacement in and force in the global current axis. Okay. And you can use the formula. Most of the case, we will find the uh, displacement for global current axis and we use transformation to get the local displacement. Okay. And most of the case, we will find the displacement based on global coordinate axis first use the transformation to get the local coordinate local displacement okay okay this is a uh, this is a uh, local uh, stiffness uh, stiffness relative relative to local coordinate axis okay local coordinate axis this is displacement uh, this is uh, lemon stiffness relative to global Coordinate system. So if you want to find global displacement, displacement based on global coordinate axis, you use this one. Okay, you use this one. This is L square L time M L time M M square. Okay, we use this one. Okay. Okay. Most of the case, if you want to find a displacement in global coordinate axis, 
we have to find the stiffness relative to global going to exist so we have to use this one okay so if we have a displacement in global x axis so we have to use this one okay let's see that is it most of the, most of the time we do not you just remember this this part of the formula on there okay so l is cos theta m is sine theta okay let's see example three okay for the bar element shown evaluate the global stiffness matrix uh x y coordinate system in x y question x and y coordinate system okay this is global coordinate as x y global coordinate as okay given the model is 30 times 10 power 0 power 6 psi area 2 in square length of the bar is 60 theta the angle from the global x axis to the bar is 30 okay <coughs> so find k first because the global stiffness is k in this case it's only one bar so the small letter k or local is equal to the capital k global just only one bar you don't have to assemble okay so the formula is ea over l and the rest is uh, the formula for assign so l cos theta because of the angle theta so we put it in term of a fraction mm sine theta and just plug in plug in okay please and you got a global stiffness matrix okay okay from this example we also can calculate strain okay strain strain for local and for global but the strain is in the in the bar so we can use local displacement okay local displacement because strain in uh in uh, between, between displacement not two and not one and it's in local direction okay okay so we know l one over l and we know this one we can transform it into matrix because it's only one bar so there is a in the in the local direction there is no y y direction okay this is local okay local see the symbol copia so there is no not not one y is zero okay not two y is zero because it's local okay then we can uh, use matrix times this one minus one times d1 displacement for local you get back this one and d2x uh, displacement local you it is one this one not not two x time this d2y okay so you get back this one okay so we can you can use this one and then you know this one we make it we simplify it just simplify simplify it simplify it uh, become a symbol okay and then this one actually is a this uh this one actually is uh t time d t is transformation matrix time the global global displacement this one okay the local displacement actually is transformation time the displacement okay so if we open the transformation matrix you get this one so minus one this one this one minus one times l you get minus one zero times minus m okay zero times minus m you get zero you get zero okay so uh, one times zero one times zero is zero so zero times zero is zero so you only have minus l here okay from here minus one time minus one time l so this is this one this one for column two okay so this one times column two you get this one minus m so minus one time m minus one time m is minus m zero time l zero one times zero 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 times zero is zero so only minus one time m minus m okay go to the column column three column three this one column three minus one times zero 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 times zero is zero one time l is l zero times zero zero time minus m is zero so you only get one the last one is column 
column 4 column 4 minus 1 times 0 0 0 times 0 is 0 1 times m is m and 0 times 1 is 0 so only m okay i repeat for the first column the first column this one okay this one minus 1 times l so we get minus l okay and 0 times minus m is 0 1 times 0 is 0 0 times 0 is 0 so for this one and this one we get only minus l okay so we get this one so remember this is displacement in a global credit system so we put it back so we get the formula for a strain using the global displacement connection displacement based on global coordinate system okay similar to stress okay you can use the same thing same thing if this is for force this for stress okay so you get the same uh, formula except the uh, uh, modulus okay yeah modulus and l okay because stress is yeah, modulus time strain you know the strain already and then we can find element tension t t is force that okay force okay this is force okay it is not thought okay so tension is from force okay so the symbol they use it t okay you can use symbol f most of the case we use symbol f force is equal to yeah, modulus time area time uh, strain so we know we are uh, modulus we know area and we know strain from our previous formula okay so okay we can get force okay okay let's see example again uh, we have uh, this one this element this truss how many nodes one two and three how many element element one el1 element one element two element three okay so element one element one consists of not one not two not one is one the symbol not two is two element one is not one and not two element two where is element two see the horizontal one is between not two and not three so element two not two not three okay and element three which is not three to not one okay not three to not one okay in this case for element three they consider from not three to not one okay not three to not one okay let's say element one from not one to not three and the angles is theta so in this case theta is 60 okay so based on this uh, table you can find k l for element one k for element two and k for element three okay and this is for uh, not okay not not one not two not three and not not two okay sorry not one x not one y and this is for not two x not two y okay and uh, this for element two element two is between not two and three not two and three okay and for element three between not three and not two okay there are four degrees of freedom per element okay for two knots okay and then you can assemble all the knots all the uh, elements element stiffness uh, to establish the global stiffness okay the global stiffness. see not one x not one two not, not one x not one y not two x not two y and then not three x not three y similar to here okay see here uh, this called this area this areas belong to what's it okay this area belong to element three okay this element three element three okay because at element element uh, three between not three and not one so this area and this area this area and this area this is for element three 
for element 1 between node 1 and 2. Element 1, node 1 and 2. So this is uh, for uh, element element 1. Okay, element 1. Okay. And the rest is for element 2. Okay, let's see example 5. The land of bars 1, 2. 1, 2. Sorry, the 1, one goes to here. Okay. 1, 2. Okay. And uh, 2, 3. 2, 3. 2, 3. We have element 1 and element 2. Okay. And then not at not 1. The one, 1 here. The symbol 1 here should be here. Okay. It's fixed. Not 3. It's fixed. Is yang modulus cross section area is A. Find D to X and D to 1. Obviously, not 1 is fixed. Displacement in not uh, displacement in 1x and 1 uh, 1x and 1y is 0. Okay. Even the local displacement also 0. Displacement in uh, at not 3 in uh, for global coordinates is 0 as far as local. Okay. But not to displacement uh, for global coordinate axis and displacement for uh, global coordinate axis in X and Y is axis, okay? So, uh, axis, okay? And the uh, same thing for local, okay? You can see if P1, P2 is force, force. So when there is a force, the node will most likely move up, okay? So there is there is a value for x here, x global, and there is a value for y, y global. And also, uh, there is a value for uh, local, local. Find stress in each bar, for each bar. Okay, once we know displacement, we know strain, we can find stress. Okay, it is good to establish table. So for element 1, between not 1 and not 2. Uh, for element 2, not 2, not 3. Okay, this is template, not 1, not 3, okay, not 2, because each element consists of not 1 and not 2. So for element 1, element uh, not number 1, not number 2, for element 2, not uh, numbers 2 and 3. Okay, table for the node coordinates, okay, we need to find the uh, x value. Okay, uh, if we see uh, not 1, x value is 0, Y is value is 0. What does that mean? In the coordinate for node 1, okay? Node 1, X value is 0. Y value is 0 because it's measured from using this coordinate axis. So what is X value here? Measure from here is 0. What is Y value here? 0. So coordinate for this one, node 1 is 0, 0. What is the coordinate for node 3? For node 3, Okay, so here, here, here x is 0. How about, uh, how about the height? The height the height is because it's L. This is L. So you know it's this. L cos 45. No, no, here. 2L cos 45. Okay, 2L cos sine 45. Sorry again. Okay, okay. So this is 45. So it's here. Half of here. This is the line is L. This is L. So this from here to sine 45. So that is coordinate uh, Y for node 3. How about this one? Okay. Node 2. Node 2 is L cos 45 and also L sine 45 or can be L cos 45. Okay. Say L cos 45, L sine 45. This is the coordinate. Okay. The coordinate. And then we convert it to uh, the symbol L and M, L and M. So the first element is uh, 45, so cos 45. And uh, for M is uh, sine 45, okay? And for symbol, for element 2, we measure the other way around. Because this is from 3 to 1, so minus cos 45 and sine 45. So we plug it into the formula stiffness element k stiffness for element one e a over l using the property and all the symbol we know cos 45 is one sine 41 is uh, one okay so it is uh, one one minus one and then 
the area the, the land is the land is uh, pure to 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 El Saim Zantia. Okay, El Saim Zantia. Okay. Also the coordinate just now. Okay. This is for element element two. Okay, element two. Okay, we plug in, we get it, and then we combine the two. We get the global stiffness. Okay, so then the final set of equation is k, k this one, and displacement equal to force. Okay, using our uh, free body diagram, we know displacement at not one and three zero, and we can find force and we can find displacement for node two. Okay, displacement at node one is zero. Displacement at node three is zero. So we only left with the d two x and d two y. Okay, and then we we know the force at node two is p one p two. So we can solve this one to get d two x and d two y. Okay, d two x and d two y. We solve it. We got this one. Okay, to find stress. This is the formula. The formula uh, minus L M L M. Okay. okay, E over L. Okay, and then you you get the stress for element one. Stress for element one. Okay, remember the formula at the beginning of the slide. Okay. Okay, this is stress for element two. Okay, I think that's all. Uh, we will discuss later on when we meet in the uh, in the online class. Okay, so the next lecture will be uh, the last lecture for chapter four. Uh, we will discuss about incline support. Okay, thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.